welcome back to another uh, tutorial and uh, oh when I say welcome back if it's the first time you've viewed it uh, hello and welcome <laughs> my name's uh, Graham Lee uh, the channel's called uh, Balloon Tube and if you could hit the subscribe button and tell your friends that would be very much appreciated so what are we going to uh, explain today we're going to explain the little pony all right uh, the only thing I do slightly different is the um, I actually tie the head down so that it actually looks more um, more pleasing to the eye for me rather than the uh, the head normally sticking out like this so anyway as we explain it you'll hopefully get the idea take your um, uninflated balloon and uh, you need to uh, pre-stretch it so hold it between your finger and thumb and pull it like this that'll make the balloon a little bit uh, longer three or four fingers if you stretch it like that that doesn't actually make it uh, any longer uh, now on this one I've left eight fingers uninflated right now you're going to do two pinch twists. So you can either do two pinch twists in your favourite method, or um, I like to do, um, they should be about one and a half finger bubbles. Uh, I like to do two bubbles, and then the knot goes around the second one, and um, then you pull this over the top. Uh, when you tie the balloon, I did forget to say, you should leave the end um, nice and long. Right? So you take the knot over the top of those two bubbles, and we've got a nice long bit, because this is what we're going to tie up with in a minute. So. Um, there's the, uh, the horse's mouth. We need a, a four finger bubble for his uh, head and two one and a half finger bubbles for his ears. And again, we're going to do the uh, two pinch twists again. So you can do them singly if you like, but this way I think you get two pinch twists the same size and with the same pressure in them. So you twist this bubble here and this one here. Twist those over. And then you take the 260 and go over the top and it gives you two uh, pinch twists. All right, we're now going to come down like this. Again, it's a four finger bubble, that's for the neck, and a, uh, a two finger pinch twist to hold his legs and his body in the uh, correct position. We're now going to come up uh, three one finger bubbles up to his ears and three one finger bubbles back down to the other side. So, uh, and do them quite small, uh, make sure they're uh, go around a few times because you don't need to come undone. So, there's your uh, three one finger bubbles that will go around the pinch twist between the ears, and you come down the other side, three one finger bubbles. There you go. I'm using a uh, rose on this. So, uh, there's your three bubbles there, and uh, that will go into the pinch twist here. Yeah. Right. Now you need um, a four finger bubble for his um, legs, two of those, yeah. and a pinch twist, and a, uh, a four finger bubble, a uh, one finger, um, oh, a one finger bubble, where am I? <laughs> a four finger bubble for his body. And then two four finger bubbles for his back legs. There you go. So that's your, uh, your body and your two back legs. Uh, it's always a good idea to hold the balloon, <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise it will come undone like that. <laughs> Never mind. All right, and uh, these two get twisted over and push the last bubble through, and that will uh, that hold it all in place like that. So you can see that um, without tying the, uh, the head in, for me it doesn't give it the right shape but if you take that knot put it behind the pinch twist here and pull that nice and tight and it gets tied in around the pinch twist for um, the bottom of his neck all right so just uh, tie that in there tie that around and there you go and that's your um these in sits nice so you can turn the gears around slightly so they can tune up and then just add a little um, oh I've got my pen here it is just draw some eyes on and one on there and one on that side and there's your little uh, pony all right so uh, thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you on another tutorial sometime so it's a uh, bye from me